The FBI discovered a tunnel in rapper Diddy's home this morning that was actually connected to the basement of Michael Jackson's former home. Police were called to the scene after neighbors anonymously reported evidence of Diddy's new crime. But when they arrive at Diddy's door, they are stopped in their tracks by his staff, who unsuccessfully try to stop the agents from continuing their investigation. When they arrived at Diddy's bedroom, they noticed that the floorboards around the bed seemed to be a little loose. They then moved the bed to one side and were shocked by the scene before them. A tunnel entrance was revealed, covered by a carpet. As they entered the tunnel, they realized that the walls appeared to be freshly built, as if construction had stopped for some reason. As they went deeper, they found strange items scattered on the floor, including children's clothes and baby oil. They continued on and came to the end of the tunnel, and the sight before them shocked everyone. The police immediately called for backup and took photos to gather evidence, and Diddy's crime was further confirmed. When they get to the finish line, they find out all the shocking stuff. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's Inspired by Dreams Shop. And it's a preppy streetwear brand I'm just bringing to my community so we can grow together. Okay, today's episode, the reason why I brought this episode to you guys today, bringing you the latest news in this whole Diddy situation. You know, Sean Combs, Love, Puffy, all of that. those names equal up to the same man, the demon. And today we're talking about people who have been covering up for him, just some of his friends, high profile friends that have been covering up for him. The latest, Anna Wintour. Let's get it. Now I came across this article and it says, as the Diddy criminal case continues to dominate the cultural conversation, his long friend Anna Wintour has been called a human shield. Walking to the Vogue offices, it's, it's, it feels, it, it feels so sexy. I, how, how, how are you doing? Hi, thanks for coming. I know I don't have an appointment, but um, I'm, I'm here to ask you about what what, what's hot and what's in? I heard you, I heard that, that you're doing this big thing, Fashion's Night Out. The Vogue editor has been called out for not condemning the rapper in the wake of the extreme accusations of sexual manipulation against him. People are also pointing to her similar behavior when Harvey Weinstein, another close associate, was arrested for sex crimes. With a criminal case and multiple lawsuits against Sean Combs, Anna Wintour's association with the rapper has become a major talking point in the fashion world. Combs is accused of racketeering, sex trafficking, and transporting sex workers between state lines, with prosecutors accusing him of horrific sexual exploitation. The many celebrities associated with the rapper have been scrutinized, and the famous fashion editor is no exception. The friendship between Diddy and Anna Wintour and her silence on the accusations against him cast a long shadow over the recent Paris Fashion Week. See, the fashion icon refused to answer questions or publicly comment on the situation and was said to look emotionless by observers during the event. Some view her silence as protecting the rapper's public image and reputation, either intentionally or by circumstance. See, Diddy and Anna Wintour have a long-standing professional and personal relationship, having met in 2010 at a fashion show in New York. Since then, the two have worked together with the Vogue head editor helping him break into the fashion world. After their first meeting, the two were often seen socializing together at fashion events. Vogue was also an asset for Diddy, featuring him numerous times during Anna Wintour's reign as editor-in-chief, first appearing in an October 1999 issue. He was frequently highlighted by the magazine, helping to establish him as a fashion icon. Now, with accusations that he used his fame to manipulate and exploit people, that association has gained a darker connotation. See, Diddy is not the first associate of Anna Wintour's to face heinous criminal charges, as the current situation is reminiscent of Harvey Weinstein's scandal. 
The fashion queen was closely associated with Weinstein for years before the accusations of sexual assault came to the light in 2017. She eventually condemned Weinstein, but many felt she waited too long to do so. Many people believe that the wealth and the fame shielded Diddy's crime from the public eye for many years, and people like Anna Wintour have come to embody that idea. See, while she wasn't involved with the crimes Combs is accused of, some feel that she legitimized the rapper and served as a human shield from scrutiny. Her current refusal to speak out about the rapper is viewed of the continuation of that protection. Fair or not, the relationship between Diddy and Anna Wintour puts the fashion editor in a compromised position. When combined with her close relationship with Harvey Weinstein, her public identity has become associated with horrific sex scandals diminishing her reputation. See, many people in the fashion world assume that she will condemn Combs, as she did Weinstein. But right now, her silence is what people are latching onto. I don't know, you guys. There's a lot of things going on when it comes down to this Diddy case, and there's a lot of people that's trying to stay out of it, but really is involved in it just because of their silence. And sometimes, you know, things that you might not want to be involved with, you have to make sure that you wasn't a part of just by not saying anything. So we see that sometimes silence could be detrimental to who you are as a person and the things you stand up for. You guys let me know down below, have you heard anything, you know, or have you seen anything that's really out of whack when it comes down to this whole Diddy situation? I know there's a lot of, you know, cases being thrown up, but what people really don't understand, a lot of these cases, they have some similarity to them, whether it be sexual abuse or just overuse of his power so until next time it's your boy mickey fenty aka mickey made it if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe